Yo, what's good, YouTube? How y'all doing? Long time no see. Um, boy, lots been happening. Lots been going on. Um, had a crazy August. Crazy August. But God is good. God is faithful. Um, right now, I'm over here at my son's soccer practice. But I figure I'll go ahead and um, take some time and just talk to y'all real quick. So what's up? How y'all doing? How y'all been? Um, just real quick, uh, man, I had the opportunity to preach to the youth last Wednesday. And uh, man, the Lord just, he gave me a, a good word for, for the youth, you know. And um, there was a moment before I even... Before I even knew that it was gonna affect me the way it did, you know, I I was preaching, and you know, sometimes, well, all the time, the Holy Spirit leads you, you know, if you allow Him to, uh, and that's one thing I most definitely uh, I love to do is I love to be obedient and allow the Lord to just uh, reign supreme and let the Holy Spirit flow, and uh, that's always just the best outcome. Um, it's, it's to be obedient to the Holy Spirit and, and say what he says, what he wants you to say and um, give the word that he gives you to, to speak. Um, I don't take it lightly, so when he tells me to say something, I say it. And uh, one of the things that I, I said when I was preaching was, um, how dare we, how dare we as Christians look at certain people and be like you know what you got to be kidding me that you know this person or that person does this or does that or um or just because they look a certain way how dare we get the attitude to be like yo i'm not gonna speak the gospel to them how dare we have the attitude to of that oh they don't deserve to be saved because if I'm being honest, I was one of those at one point uh, with the way that I lived as a teen. I most definitely are one of those people that people probably did look at and be like, yo, there's no way God can reach him or there's no way um, God would want to reach him. You know, the Bible tells us that Jesus... Jesus gave up his life on the cross for everybody. The Bible says so that no man should perish. And um, he didn't say some or a little bit. He said that no man should perish. And he says that whoever so believes in his son that died on the cross, right? That there, there is no only for this person and only for that person. So when when I preached that, it didn't it didn't hit me right. I know it was a good word from the Lord, but what happened was like a day later, the Lord brought that back into my mind, like the next day, and the day after that again. So I, I felt like it was the Holy Spirit just speaking to me. So um, I sat that I sat down and I started praying and, and speaking to God. And what was going on was the Lord was bringing it to me and convicting me because uh, I've been guilty of that as well. Even though that I was once that person who didn't deserve to be saved, that people didn't think could could be saved, right? Because of all the stuff that I did, I had turned around and had that same type of attitude um right so the holy spirit was convicting me of of that of me having that type of attitude so man, I'm, I'm really on here to say like yo look if god is speaking to you and he is bringing something up to you um if you believe in the holy spirit and and i pray that you do because 
part of his job is to convict you, to give you strength, to, to, to help you with self-control and love and gentleness and kindness, right? But we have to listen, we have to be obedient. Um, so I most definitely want to be obedient and, and I wanted to get on here publicly and uh, just repent and, and tell God that I'm humbly sorry for having that attitude, um, for being self-righteous and, and conceited and, and, and not being humble in the fact that the Lord is willing to save anybody and everybody. See, he don't hate us. He hates what we get into. He hates what we do. He don't hate us. He loves us. That's why God gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross, right? So we could have opportunity to be in heaven with him. So he loves us. He hates sin. And sometimes even though we're Christians, we mess up. And I want to be someone who is obedient to the Lord and to his Holy Spirit. So I just want to get on here and um, I want to just say a quick prayer of repentance. And, and, and if, you, if you're if you dealing with something similar and God's telling you to, to repent, right? Um, you can say this prayer with me. So uh, let's just go ahead and, and dig in right now and uh, be obedient to the Lord. Lord Father God, first and foremost, I just come to you. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your goodness and I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord. I thank you, Father God, that um, I am willing to be sensitive to your Holy Spirit and, and obedient, Lord God, and, and listen to the conviction, Lord God, of, of the Holy Spirit, Lord, of me having a, a self-righteous attitude. I repent for that right now, Father God. Please forgive me, Lord. I, I just bind and rebuke right now the spirit of self-righteousness. And I humbly come to you, Father God, just to ask you, Lord God, to forgive me and to help me get past that, Lord God, to, to help me, Lord God, just always be obedient to you. Always remember and realize that everybody deserves salvation. Everybody deserves to experience your love and mercy and grace, your goodness, your faithfulness, and your Holy Spirit. Help me to be the soul and the light that you asked me to be, Lord God. Your word says, Lord God, that we would be your witnesses to the ends of the earth. And that's what I want to be, Lord God. May no man perish, may no woman perish, but have everlasting life. I thank you, Lord God, for saving me. And I thank you, Father God, for doing a work in my life and changing me, Lord God. And and dealing with me, Father God. And I thank you for the opportunities that you give me to speak, Lord God. And I thank you, Father God, that I'm able to just come before you, Lord God, and, and repent, Lord God, and make things right, Lord Jesus. I just pray for those right now, Lord God, who are going through the same thing. And, and I just pray, God, that they have the courage, Lord God, to, to repent as well, Father God. You convict. You do not condemn. You convict. It's up to us, Lord God, if we accept that conviction, if we accept that correction. And I accept that correction right now, Father God. And I just pray that you will be with them, Lord God. And anybody, Lord God, who is listening right now, will just begin to pray along, Lord God, and, and experience your love and mercy and grace and your goodness and faithfulness in the Holy Spirit, Father. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our every breath. I love you, Father God, and I thank you. I ask you to reign supreme in my life, Lord God, here on earth as it is in heaven. And I pray the same for those listening, Father God, that you would just be with them, God, and you would reign supreme in their lives, Lord God, in their lives here on earth as it is in heaven. May your will be done, Father God. May we submit to your will and your desires. I pray that your will and desires become my will and desires, Lord God. I just want to please you, Father. I just want to thank you for this opportunity in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that was, um, that's all I had. Um, I'm going to try to come back on here. Um, uh, I'm going to try to come back on here again before Friday. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, if it's a, 
a shooting my bow video, a short fishing video, or something at work, or, or maybe another prayer, maybe going over a Bible verse or something. Um, we'll see. But I'm going to try to get on here again Friday and uh, just remind you that God is good and all that we do um, and all that happens, He is good. All right, so God bless y'all. Talk to y'all soon.